It was the middle of the night in Saudi Arabia when word emerged from Washington that President Joe Biden's long-stalled domestic agenda was dead. The culprit was familiar. Senator Joe Manchin, the moderate West Virginia Democrat, was bucking at what effect the massive climate, tax and social safety net plan might have on inflation. In Jeddah, where Biden was convening fraught meetings with Saudi leaders, the news was met with frustration and anger but not surprise. Thirteen days, two COVID infections and a few bitter arguments later, fortunes have shifted. Manchin and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer shocked most of Washington on Wednesday when they announced, after restarting their negotiations in secret four days after they fell apart, an agreement on a version of Biden's long-stalled climate, energy and tax agenda. It's less than half the size of Biden's original Build Back Better bill, and Manchin made sure to emphasize that name had been scrapped. Republicans are uniformly opposed, and certain Democrats in both the Senate and House have yet signed on, making the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 anything but a done deal. But after appearing moribund for months, the agreement injected new life into ambitions that many Democrats had mostly put aside. Paired with Thursday's passage of a bill boosting U.S. computer chip production, the president's legislative prospects are looking up. Biden spoke to the senator, who is isolating with COVID in the mountains of West Virginia, on Wednesday, having mostly given up on formal talks with Manchin after watching the senator repeatedly derail his agenda. It was their first formal call on Democrats' agenda since December. The work of the government can be slow and frustrating and sometimes even infuriating, Biden said a day later, emerging into the White House's state dining room to herald the surprise developments. Then the hard work of hours and days and months for people who refuse to give up pays off. History is made. Lives are changed. The climate and tax deal came together in almost complete secret, catching many by surprise Wednesday when it was announced in the late afternoon. Holy shit, Senator Tina Smith of Minnesota wrote on Twitter. Stunned, but in a good way, 